When we take part in economic activity, we can't do everything ourselves all the time. It would take too much time and more information than we have. We appoint representatives to do it for us in companies where, where we own shares. We appoint boards of directors. Uh, in politics, we, we elect legislators. The problem is that those people we appoint have an interest in pursuing their advantage rather than ours. This is called public choice theory, and what it tells us fundamentally is that people pursue their advantage. And it should not surprise us at all if directors of companies start voting themselves very high salaries and all kinds of perks and boxes at Wimbledon and test matches and so on, they are pursuing their advantage. It's not just company directors that heap rewards on themselves. Civil servants want larger departments with more employees so they will command higher salaries and more powers. Legislators want to get re-elected. They want to get promoted. They themselves want the power and rewards that come from office. So when there are absolutely essential reforms that are desperately needed for the good of the country that will result in legislators being defeated, guess what? They won't do it. Adam Smith himself put it very succinctly. Public services are never better performed, he said, than where their reward comes only in consequence of their being performed and is proportional to the diligence employed in performing them. Exactly so. We have to tie their interests in with ours. We have to make sure that systems are in place to make sure that our company directors and our legislators pursue policies that are to our advantage, not just to theirs. Many people suppose that civil servants are a special case, that they're guardians of the public good. No, civil servants are just like other people. They act like everybody else does. It, it's in the interest of a civil servant not to have a smaller department cutting the budget, but to have greater responsibility and a higher salary and more power. That's not necessarily the same as the public good. This is called public choice theory. And what does it tell us? Only that legislators and civil servants and company directors are just like the rest of us. As Adam Smith put it, the effort of every person to maximise their advantage. Yes, indeed, they are pursuing their advantage and we want them to pursue ours. So the trick is to get systems in place that will make them operate in our interests, not just in theirs. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.